Hey everyone, Aqua Comic is back and I'm here with a new figure review. Today's new figure review is on the League of Legends Champion Series Nasus. And I have to say, I really, really like Nasus. And this is a really good, good, good interpretation of Nasus. That was his figure stand. And the boy is tall. And I mean tall. We, we, I will show you when I get into sizing with him. But right now, let's just get a close look at him and all the nice details. Everything that Nasus, every detail that Nasus has, they manage to replicate it. Like from the bandages on his leg, on his arm, and on his feet. And to whoop, making the armor on his feet look a little bit like the sun disk. Like he, he should have. Let me and the details on his on his axe slash staff. Because that's what he uses to channel his magic through. It's nicely detailed too. I love the gold plastic they use for it. And looking on the back of Nasus, every ounce of his armor is exactly how it should be. Even the one on his, on his bicep. The belt. But yeah. This is a really, really good interpretation of Nasus' articulation. His head, I believe, is on a ball joint. He gets a wiggly waggly. And he can rotate all the way around. He can look down. He can somewhat look up. Not too much. He has full rotation at the arms. Both arms have a nice... Nice, smooth motion of the shoulders, his bicep, can not only swivel, he's got a double jointed elbow, his wrists can rotate and they are also on a hinge, so they can hinge in and out, his one hand is sculpted, it was made in this kind of pose, yes it's a little limiting with poses with him with his axe, but I actually think it's really good because you can, if you can work the articulation, you can repli replicate the pose in his splash art. And he does have it, this hand, his hand like this. He's got that cool, weird chest articulation. I can't remember what they... It's called, he can crunch only slightly forward and slightly back. You kind of have to hold like right here to get the waist. Legs are a little hindered by his, um, by his kilt. But he, his legs can't go forward about that far until they're hindrance by the kilt. And only slightly out that far. Far. He can do the splits. He does have an upper thigh rotation, double jointed knees, which is always good. His his feet can hinge up and down, and he's got ankle tilt. And when I said that this guy is tall, I mean he's tall. And he's tall as he should be because he's an ascendant. And even when not using his ultimate, Nasus is still, still a tall boy. And to prove it, here he is with the Marvel Legends, um, believe Hit Monkey build a figure. Red She Hulk. Oh, and Sizing's not done there. 
boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, collectors of all ages. It's not stopping there. Here he is with a Marvel Legends Ultron. And then here he is with the first edition, well, the first wave of these League of Legends figures for Series 1. Here he is with Zed. And that is accurate. And a cool, another cool thing is he all, he can size up with any of them, any figure line, especially with DC Multiverse figures. So you can have him be like, oh, he's a an, an Egyptian jackal mutant attacking Gotham or Metropolis or. New York City and wants to fight the Avengers or work alongside the Avengers to stop his brother. Who is in a two-pack with this exact Gnosis? I, I do plan to want to get it. Only for the Renekton. I love Renekton. But that's been my review on Gnosis. I hope you all liked it. Sorry for being gone for so long, but I'm back. And as always, like, share, and subscribe to your f bleh, like, subscribe, share to your friends and family, leave comments sections in the comment comments in the comment section down below. Feel free to give me a ideas who you want to see me review, and I'll see you all in my next skit and or figure review. Take care and goodbye.